Hello everybody. Welcome back to NIOS Made Easy. Today we are doing chapter 2 from DEO. This is operating systems. We are doing part 2 of the chapter today. This chapter is applicable both for the secondary and the senior secondary classes. In the part 1 of this chapter, we learnt about the various tasks that we can perform on our computer systems like opening programs, closing programs, operations on files and folders, installing, uninstalling or changing software. installing or uninstalling hardware additionally we also saw some tasks that we could perform on office applications like opening an ms word document closing the document saving the document etc and the steps for doing the same tasks on a workbook and a presentation also was discussed in part 1 of this chapter in this video today let us understand the concepts of what a taskbar is a control panel Windows Explorer, file management in Windows, etc. Please check out the video where we discuss the various tasks and writing steps for the same. These have been discussed in detail in the video. I'll place a link to that video in the description box below. Now moving on to the first topic that is taskbar. The taskbar is this bar that appears on the bottom of our computer screens. As you can see in this picture, this is a picture of the taskbar of Windows 2007. as we know the operating system version and the ms office version that is prescribed by the nios syllabus for do is windows 2007 and office 2007 therefore unlike in the current day laptops where you see the search bar here you do not see anything like that in the windows 2007 version we have a start button and we have the date and time and we have some programs running we have the program icons that have been opened on this computer system let us get to understanding the points when we start the computer system the taskbar appears on the bottom of the screen the taskbar is visible by default while the computer is running however we can choose to hide the taskbar it contains the start button the date and the time and the other program icons that are running on the computer system whenever a program is opened an icon that is representing the program will appear on the taskbar it will continue to stay there for as long as we are using the program and the icon disappears or it is taken away from the taskbar when we close the program online help and support is of great help when you want to learn features on your computer system we can get help for a specific topic or a specific task that we are executing to get online help you can click on the start button you have the help and support option available so clicking on this will display the online help feature for you the help and support screen looks something like this to get help for any topic you will have to key in the keywords for that topic that you desire to see and on clicking on this arrow button will show you some search results which might be of help to you locating files and folders unlike in the current day laptops or the newer version of windows where we can search for files and folders but by just keying in their names here this feature is not available in windows 2007 so we'll have to open the search window to do so when the user does not know where a file or a folder is located the search option can be used The search feature will maintain an index of all the files and folders on your computer system making the search easier and faster. To search for files and folders, we click on the start button and we click on the search option which will open up the search results window. Here we can search for files and folders by giving the name of the file or the folder that we are looking out for we have an advanced options features here which can be used when you want to specify additional search criteria moving on the next topic is my computer my computer is a folder that is available in microsoft windows it displays and it allows the user to access the local drives inside the computer like the c drive d drive the contents of a floppy drive floppy drive is a part of windows 2007 it is no longer available in the current day machines uh, accessing the contents of the hard disk cd drive network drives etc it is installed as a part of the operating system we can do file management using the my computer folder to access my computer we click on the start button and you can see the my computer option there this is how the my computer screen looks like where it displays the contents of the different disk drives the and the removable storage 
changing system settings we can change the settings of our system using the control panel we can change the settings of the computer using the tools available in the control panel it is used to change the system settings and using the tools in the control panel we can change the look and feel of the windows the way the windows works can all be changed we can install and uninstall software and hardware with the add and remove programs available in the control panel we have some administrative tool options where we can change the user management we can change the properties of the different windows components user accounts can be modified and the settings for an existing user can also be changed here moving on next is the windows explorer we use windows explorer to perform file management on windows to access windows explorer we click on the start button then we click on all programs then we use accessories and there you have the windows explorer option the windows explorer looks something like this where we have a left pane here where all the folders available inside the computer are hierarchically arranged and clicking on any folder will show you the files and folders within that specific folder this is the folder where we can perform file management like creating new folders deleting folders renaming folders copying folders or files moving files or folders along with windows explorer the other folder that is the my computer is also used for performing file management operations this is a very popular question in the examination where they ask you to write some points short notes on file management in windows file management in windows is done either using the windows explorer or the my computer there are two panes on the screen this is your left pane and this is the right pane the left pane displays all the folders it shows it as a hierarchical list whereas the right pane shows you the contents of the selected drive or the folder we can use windows explorer or even my computer to create new folders rename files or folders copy or move folders from one place to another delete folders and search for folders whenever we delete files or folders from our hard disk windows places them in a special folder called as the recycle bin files or folders deleted from removable storage like a cd drive or a network drive they are permanently deleted and they are not sent to the recycle bin deleted files or folders can be retrieved from the recycle bin to retrieve our files that has been deleted we go to the recycle bin select the file or folder that has to be retrieved right click and then select the option restore this will restore the files deleted from the recycle bin and it will put them back in the place from where it was actually deleted installing hardware and software so installing hardware and software can be done using the tools available in the control panel add or remove programs is that utility which helps us install hardware and software similarly we can install programs and windows components too using the tools available in the control panel using it one can install software packages such as microsoft word access etc using a cd drive or from a network drive windows will also help you install hardware components like a sound card video card etc to add or remove windows components one has to be logged in as an administrator to successfully install or uninstall hardware components or even maybe windows components this is a snapshot of the control panel with the add or remove programs being displayed we have come to the end of this chapter in part 1 of this chapter we have seen the common tasks we perform on our computer and how to write the steps for the same in this video in in part 2 we have seen what a taskbar is the control panel windows explorer file management in windows etc if you have found this video useful please give me a like on this video and share it with your friends who might find this video useful for preparing for their exams thank you for watching